Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, uh, I'm recording this back to back with the last episode and the one before that, so um, if you, when you're commenting on the last couple of episodes, it won't be updated until after this one. But we waited two days after the last episode, went through the financial reports, we got 1.9 million left, and uh, the contract's refreshed, and we do have a contract we can take right now with the second lance, right away at the beginning of the month, which is Distraction. Um, it's for the pirates, which is great because we're still working on getting our pirate rep up. Uh, we've got a few missions here we can take for the pirates. Um, there's four of them right now. Um, so I think we're going to hang around here and take these missions. This is a three skull. might take a little bit of work, but we're going to go ahead and do that one. And then we got a two and a one and a half down here. This will probably be a mixed unit. We might wait till we get the centurion up and running for this one, but we'll see. Uh, but we're going to take the distraction one right now. Most likely two lances, probably two light lances. Uh, I'm hoping anyway, but we'll find out. So we're going to go ahead and negotiate this, do this right away, and accept. There's been no changes to the second lance of mechs, so we should be good to go without a problem here. All right, where are you here? Scramble, Earthquake, Focus, Swifty. All right, one, two, three, four, and I'm pretty sure that's right, right? You are the... AC5, you are the two large lasers, or your large laser and light PPC, tag barrage. I think I altered this mech slightly. Pulled off one of the larges, added Guardian ECM. Yeah, and then this one is still the same as the Lerm mech with the bolt-on rockets. Yep, and then the Urania is ready to go. All right, let's deploy and get it done. Yeah, I know it's got unused tonnage. All right, let's do this night mission. Looks like we got some guys with us, which will be helpful. All right, we're going up there, eh? Let's hit them hard and get them all looking in our direction. Yeah, we can do that. We're good at that. Tobias Hill, eh? Let's get out there and do this. You got that right. So if we're getting a second lance, they're probably coming from this direction. Um, so let's take this hill. We need to get up on the hill here. These slow-ass Irby's up there. Yeah, we got contacts. No Already. No need to tell me twice. And that's fine. That's fine. We'll deal. Destroy enemy patrol. I hear ya. Bet you've never seen an Urban Mac this fast before. Alright, what are we looking at here? Scorpion LRM. A Ripper and a Mantis. Uh, okay. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. not appear to be a whole lot here, eh? Yeah. What can I do? Alright, focus. Uh, ER large tag barrage. Stay on this side. Because if we get that extra lance that comes in, I want you to have your long-range weapons to be able to fire at them. Got our learn boat coming up here in a second. We got a javelin. Of course you do. Whoa, they got two more lances. We need this hill fast. So they've probably got one over here. And one back here, maybe? As long as you ain't firing on me, I'm good. We only have two guys with us? No, we got four. What do we got? Urban Mech, LRM, Drillson, the Javelin, and a Weapons Carrier, which is LRM-20. Okay. Alright, we'll take that. I copy. This Lerm boat up here. Um... Leave that off for now. Help manage the heat. Hopefully we don't shoot our own guy in the back. Yeah. One hit. One hit when we should have got four, but whatever. I'm pretty sure I added extra ammo to the uh, urban mech. After that one battle where we were really conserving ammo, I was like, I think we're going to need to get more ammo in there. 
Did he go the other way? All right, one hit. Gotta try and get ECMs in all this light lance here. I mean, I guess is we have the Angel ECM in the um, in the Arinia, and I think the LRM Max got an ECM as well, a Guardian ECM. Scimitar. All right, scramble. Not get too close, because mm -hmm. that'll allow our guys to shoot us in the back, because you know how they are. Um, how much armor do you have? Not that much. Yep, we'll just fire this. I'm gonna save those rocket packs. I don't know what we're gonna be up. You know what? Maybe not. Let's go. Let's see if we can kill this guy in one shot here. Beautiful. Look at that. I love how these things fly. See ya! That'll get their eyes off us. She's got the Angel ECM now. It's got these guys within the ECM range. Which is nice. Yep, yeah, what was that? Fire starter. Okay. Could be a potential hazard. But we need this hill first. Priority number one. So maybe they've got two lances coming from this side. I always thought the extra... Excuse me. I always thought the extra lance came in through down here. Well, after the reinforcement lance. So wait, that was the government support lance. So we haven't seen the enemy patrol yet? So there must be two lances here. And then one from this side. Waiting on you, Commander. I mean, not that I really care, but it's nice to know. The AC5, we can't be that close with it. I love the 360 degree turn on this thing, so you don't really have to be <laughs> facing the enemy, but it's nice to be able to at least have your right side like turn towards them. Um, yeah, let's just take a pot shot at this guy. Okay, laser hit, nice. So I tried to get Exostar lasers on all these because they do, I mean, it's this, pretty much the same range as regular lasers, but they do 25 damage for more heat. And most of our urban mechs are like, especially this guy, are under 30 heat, heat anyway every turn, even at full run. So I was figuring we just drop the bigger lasers on, do more damage. But that's something, I mean, once we, once we like this mech will be gone, and the ER larger laser mech will be gone. So those are weapons that we could probably fit us fit up on the mortise. We can find a nice big core for the mortise. Then we can add melee in it, and it's got six weapon um, slots, so we can add um, maybe those extra star, exo star lasers. Okay, so which guy do we shoot? Not this guy. This guy. That's really bad chances though. 20 on the spider. Fire starter. Locust. So at least we know we're not facing horribly horribly overpowered mechs. Going to focus on the guys above here. We got to clear them out. We got to get up there and clear them out. Once we get the high ground it should be butter. Should be. Yeah, man. That's that other scimitar. Skimitar. Understood. Moving fast. So even though we don't have to worry about what direction we're pointing in. We do have to worry about where our torso is pointing in because it depends. That will uh, basically uh, dictate. Uh, yeah, let's go up to this guy. That will dictate um, where any damage against us will be. 
So we can't have our back facing the enemy because even though we can face the, we can shoot the guy behind us. When he fires, he's still shooting us in the back. Yeah, there's the other warrior over there. So the main lance is coming up from that direction. I can't believe the urban mech beat the Urania up the hill. Well, that lance is going to be in an interesting position when we're fighting the, uh, the secondary lance on the right here. Uh, Freaking TBM carrier. At least they're not using HE. Let's hope it's not a minefield. I thought about dropping it just like one extra jump jet on all the urban mechs. But with one jump jet, it's like going to be like a one hex jump. So even if they do lay a minefield, I'm still going to be jumping into a minefield. So <laughs> unless we can max out the jump jets, there's really no point in putting them on there. All right, a little bit of damage. All right, scramble. Let's get rid of these choppers. Get into here. What do we got here? A mech. Leave the rocket packs off. We're going to fire the lasers. Hope we get some good hits on this guy because he's severely damaged on the one side. There's one hit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so the patrol has only got three, which means they only have 11. Yes, Commander. Get up there, buddy. Full sprint, please. I need you up there. Aye, aye. Two more turns before we're up. Sure. Confirm. Nothing. Damn it. Negative damage. Yeah, so we got 300 rounds of standard ammo now on that guy. I think I added... I might have added a ton and a half. I think we were... We were really light on the ammo before. Not exactly sure how I did that. I might have added like ferrofibrous or something, or I don't know what, what I did. Can I, do for you? I did something. Alright, um... You betcha! Now... Yeah. Hey! Stay in the crosshairs! We don't have the best pilots either, that's the other thing too, right? So... Receiving you. Gotta run up this road, gotta run up this hill, Kill this veto. Alright, firing. Once we get up this hill, things are going to change. That's all I got to say. And that's all. So it looks like that's the other guy with the uh, ECM on him. We've only got two ECMs, I think, or maybe two or three. Three. So the LRM mech, the PPC ER large laser mech, and the Irinia. This AC guy, like the the AC5 is nice because it's a hard hitting weapon, 45 damage, but it's eight tons and then like you know a ton of like double load of of ammo and it's like or one ton of ammo or something like that. So nine tons for a weapon. It's a little much. But, you know, like I said, we don't have double heat sink kits or things like that, so we've got to use what we have, unfortunately. And it's only got two, um, two hard points. It's only got a ballistic and a laser hard point, so 
It's not like we can mount much else on it. I mean, we could put the AC20 on it, but then, what? like I said, we'd be lowering the engine. It would be moving so ridiculously slow. It would never get into a fight. At least this way, we've got a mobile semi-good damage gun platform that can get up, keep the Urania covered, move into like a half-decent distance and just do fire support. At least until the uh, AC runs out. Come on, get up here. Weapons carrier. I got a feeling these guys are going to run out of ammo too. I'd have taken like a single medium lance over three light lances, that's for sure. We're going to run out of ammo. I hear you. We're going to run out of ammo. Get some height, see what that gives, gives us. Little better chance to hit. We'll take that chance. And firing. Okay, laser hit. Nice. We're going to work on this mantis till it's gone. What's this thing? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, elementals. Inner sphere standard? At least it's not me that's taking damage. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good chances to hit. Let's move into here. How much armor do you have? 32, eh? So I want to use a rocket pack. It's got three energy, five energy points on it. So let's go ahead and try and trash this guy. Crap, we got him in one shot. Well, at least we know he's dead. Okay, that gets their eyes off. Alright, that's three of them down. So we're even now. Eight against eight. So these two lances are going to fight it out. Let's let them worry about each other. We'll worry about the eight guys up here. Or the, I guess it's not eight. It's four now, isn't it? Your asteroid up here. Okay, which shot do we have the best shot at now? Whatever the best chance to hit is. 13 on the warrior, 25 on the locust, 25 on the spider, 9 on the scimitar, 22. We can probably apply the most damage to the locust, so let's fire on the locust. Well, not okay. So not really the most damage. That was not what I meant. What I meant was that most damage per weight. He's got the lowest armor, I think. So, so that's the warrior. That's the locust. We could hit him with the barrage. Spider. I think we. Wow, we're getting really overheated, eh? That doesn't give us much. That gives us a lot. Let's just go with this on the uh, warrior. Okay. What the? <laughs> Dude, just don't get swarmed by elementals. That's all I gotta say. Or sorry, the uh, inner sphere standard. You better not be carrying a flag. Two points. Two points is two points. I guess the good thing though is that those are, if those are TBM fives, <laughs> at least we can get some off this mission. I'm pretty sure they are. 
Yeah, hammer him. Hammer him. Yeah. I need you up here helping me. Well, probably not, but I mean, be nice if you were up here helping me. That guy's backing up again with the LRMs. Yeah, I've only got a couple more turns of that shaft, but that's fine. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. Got to find out where that standard is. And then we should be able to get direct fire on that TBM carrier. I mean, it hasn't really been a threat because it's not hitting anybody. Look at these guys grouping up. Yeah. We're going to walk it up. Man, the chance to hit, eh? Look at that, that's a lot of energy weapons. There's the chance on the warrior. I can leave this off. So that's not too bad. LRM-10 looks like it's damaged. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of armor. The X-Pulse hits, it's over for him. This guy's actually not that bad off. So, okay, that's not, they've actually got pretty good armor. So let's try for this warrior, see if we can get a sh good shot on him. There's the X-Pulse, nice. Far more reliable this battle. Far more reliable this battle. It's good to see. I like, you know, I wasn't really a big fan of the original version of the X-Pulse, but now I'm loving the weapon. It's, yeah, it's hot. It runs, definitely runs hot. But the damage for tw the damage for tonnage is great. 45 damage for two tons. You can't say no to that. Well, you can. But, I mean, it's just such a great, uh, great little platform. All right, we're just going to shoot on this guy. Maybe if we can get around behind those guys. These guys are getting flanked by the spider. There's got to be another mech back there, probably an urban mech trailing up the rear. For this lance down here. There's got to be another mech back here. I mean, maybe there's only three. Maybe. But we won't know until they finally kill somebody. But I bet you there's an urban mech back there. Because like I said, when you've got a when you've got an urban mech with the standard, like, standard engine core in it, you're moving two squares. Like, that's it. Two squares. And, that, that, and that's all. Oh man, I feel sorry for these guys. Well, we don't need to do anything now. I want to see how much damage that barrage does to those guys. That should be a kill shot, though. I know it's power armor, but a, an incoming barrage like that should be a kill shot for power armor. It won't be, but it should be. How are we doing heat-wise? Still pretty good. I'm going to move into here. Forty-three on this guy. Let's drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, not a lot of damage, but did okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Got all five of them.
I wonder if that LRM is actually an LRM or if it's rockets. Because he might be out of rockets. Okay, looks like the big one hit. I think he's got a large laser. Yeah, there's another guy back here. What is this guy? Panther. Yeah, Panthers are pretty slow too. I think in the original game they were walk four, run six. They weren't very fast, and I think they had four jump jets, so they might have had three. But it had a it had a PPC and uh I think it was an SRM two or an SRM four. But they were very slow. I need you to sprint up, get away from these guys, because I don't know if they're going to come close to me or not. Yes, I am. We got to make sure we're a distance away that they can't uh, ruin our day here. They're not moving very fast. So I don't expect them to ruin our day, but actually, you know what? Let's cool off, because we got more work to do after these guys. Yeah, they can't move very fast. <gasps> Hope they don't hit me. Mortars, eh? What can I do for you? Okay, can we see anybody yeah. else from up here? This guy back here is like so far out of the way now. Wow, really, eh? Wow. Come on, Javi, what are you up to? Why are you shooting on my guys? Come on! He's taking a barrage here in a second. I should run in there with my urban mech and get... if I Because if I'm tagged, I should run right beside them so they can take the mortar and the barrage. Which I think I'm going to do. It sounds crazy, but... Uh, I can handle the barrage, I know that. But I don't think they can handle the barrage and the mortar. Like, all my Irbies are full armor. You just shoot yourself? Or you shot the spider? Receiving you. On the move. Okay, I want to see if I can get direct fire on this thing next. 30%. Still going to fire. Apply a little bit of ample damage over there. So that must have been the Panther. It's probably got a uh, medium rifle. Yeah, I'm going to step into here. Because screw them. Tagging me with mortars. Oh, he's still got LRMs left. Ooh, spider's in trouble. Spider is in trouble. Nice. Something I can do. See, I don't know. Doesn't say here, does it? does not say if the mortar is actually on me, but it does look like it is. Consider it done. Yeah, one of them was. And it looks like, are they in the mortar range? Looks like they probably are. Looks like it's got a smaller range though. Let's fire on this guy. Okay, one hit. Sensor's problem. Rogers are coming in after this. I think the farther you are from the center of the barrage, the less damage you take, but I could be wrong. So as long as we're on the edge of where the barrage is, we should take a little less damage than those guys in the center. 
Ooh, the vehicle's finally moving in. <gasps> oh, I thought he was going to move into the circle there for a second. So he's in a position where we can kill him. Come on, don't shoot them. Yeah, they took a hell of a lot more damage than I did. I'm listening. Probably, like I said, because I was on the edge of it. Do we just close and try and finish these guys off? Not a good chance to hit, though. Let's get into here. Mmm. Alright, let's just go with the lasers. Ooh, the big one hit. How much damage was that? Internal damage, Commander. Yeah. Target acquired detective tag mark. Beautiful. They can do a lot of damage. Little shit burgers. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's fire on this guy. No sweat. God. Are you actually here to do anything today? Stand still while I'm attacking you. He ain't never gonna do that, dude. Man. Well, those guys are backing up. They're, it looks like our uh, our allies are pushing the uh, their support back over here. Although they haven't actually killed anybody yet. Good to go. Maybe they're waiting for us to show up. I don't know. Come on, we can't get a good shot in this guy. Nothing direct, eh? Thirty percent, drop it on them. It's taking about the same every turn. Slowly stripping his armor off. It's too bad where I think I think we're scattering it everywhere. Okay, that's going to heat us up, but we don't have to fire both. Wow, that's like super hot. We're not going we're not to have to fire any. <laughs> don't have to fire anything. We'll just back up, because what the hell. Yeah, we did some good damage to these guys with the barrage and the mortar. But where did he, he penetrated my leg, I think. No, I penetrated the arm. Ooh. That's bad. That's where the ER large laser is. You better make sure we keep the that that's what, the right side? Right side, right? Wow, it's almost gone. Well, at least you give me the chance to use some dead fire now. Still got lots of armor, this guy. Well, he's hitting that guy. Didn't hit us, though. This side's almost done. If we can get on the other side of him. Right? Over here. Come on, you guys. Get up that hill. Who goes on six? Oh, our carrier.
All right, let's see what they do. It's a lot of tags, man. Commander. Dude shooting tags at us, buddy. Um, do you not have the ability to target anybody? There we go. Fart these guys. Aye, aye. Nice. Can't let them get close to us. That's pretty good melee damage for those guys. Like, I think our arms had, like, 50 armor, plus the internal structures. So they must have did, like, around 60 damage, which kind of makes sense. That's how power armor should be. It should be deadly at point-blank range. And the melee attack should re reflect that. So if they close with you, they should be deadly. I'm fully behind that. Like, that's... That makes sense. And they don't move very fast, but if they do get on you, you know, what they should do... I don't know, how, I don't know if they'd be able to do this and if the Rogue Tech people are listening. One of the things... Because since you've got those bolt-on items... What might be cool um, is have a bolt-on carrier for elementals. So you can actually carry the elementals on the mech to carry them into battle. And then you, like an, like the ED, EWS ping or whatever, you press a button and then they dismount for combat. And they become a unit on the field. All right, we're going to go hot on this one, and I'm going to hammer these guys because I want them gone. This is everything I've got. That might be cool, but I don't know if you'd be able to do that. I don't know how you would do that. That's something that would spawn a unit into battle. So, for instance, like, you have the... Like you give them a weight like 20 tons, and if you have that, if you got that TSM carry, which increases your your carry weight, um, and you're using that, it would allow you to carry the elementals into combat, like on your back or whatever. Um, hmm. Let's go after these guys. Christ, you can't even hit when the Whatever. For another shot. Yeah, I don't know if you can get another shot. Just go to the draw point. I don't think you could do that, though. That'd be kind of cool. Because then, like, the heavier the mech, then the more elementals you could bolt onto it. So you can maybe bolt on two packs of elementals if you can carry them. And be able to deploy them in combat. That'd be kind of cool, I think. Commander. We go after this guy. This TBM carrier is wrecking our buddies over here. We got a chance to kill this guy over here, so let's get around behind him. Go to that. Take this. Take this. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it on. We'll go hot. Chances are we're not going to use the rockets after this, so let's go ahead and just do this. Let's burn them if we can. Affirmative. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. I'm out of SRM. Well, we had to try it. I almost got him. Almost got him. Well, maybe not. Stripped a lot of armor, though. That's for sure. We got the dead fires for next turn, too, so go ahead and use those. Our allies are hanging tough down there, though. 
I think that that Urban Mac has got to cycle back and forth between the LRM and the medium lasers because of the heat of the LRM. That's my guess. I'm not sure if that's an LRM 20 on there. I mean, it's a possibility. Come on, five points. We'll take it. Okay, we're moving in to go after this guy. Because those elementals are pretty much done. Uh, let's use the rocket pack. It's going to heat us up, but I want this guy gone. The big one missed. Crap. What can I do for you? you cannot move and shoot this guy, please. Time to die. Beautiful. He's your target now. Don't move from there until that guy's dead. I can't afford to commit everybody now. We gotta kill this vehicle here. Come on, Jabby, do something. Or not. Probably out of ammo. Every mech designer should at least realize that at some point your mech is going to run out of ammo. So you have to have some kind of laser on it. Like, I mean, even the urban mech designers realize that they need at least to have something on it, like a small laser. <laughs> you know what I mean? You needed something else on there. Because at some point you're going to run out of ammo, right? And what do you do? Just, like, eject? Like... Ooh. That's not good. Hmm. You gonna be able to get over here? No, you're not. All right. I guess you're shooting at this guy on the ground too. Doesn't got much left. Let's just go ahead and do it this way. Beautiful. See, he can do it. All right, that's that problem solved. Now I just got to clean up down here. Just got to clean up down here. Walk into dead fire range and give this guy the what for. Only got 40 rounds left in dead fire, but that's fine. We won't need him after this. Beautiful. We'll be in LRM territory for the rest of this now, probably. Oh, yeah, man. That was a torso kill. That was a lot of jump jets. I'm not sure why that guy's not jumping. Maybe to save heat, but still. That guy could be out of ammo. Could be out of ammo. All right, we got to go after this guy. Don't know what our our chance to hit this range is going to be. Five T's think is still completely fresh. I know the locust is taking a fair bit of damage on the one side anyway. Waiting on you, Commander. Get the hell over here, buddy. Ooh, that's a good range. Good speed. Wow. Well, sure. Ooh, I may need some more time in the yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, it might only be the rocket packs that we can shoot from this range. It is. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. We're gonna wait. Gonna get in a little closer and start using them from there. We've only got one more turn fire on those things, so. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Looks like we're going to be facing this lance. Yep. Waiting for orders. Yeah. 
Okay. What's the chance to hit this guy? 30%. Got it. Got one guy left. Focus. Man, we're going to have to go down there and fight them. I think the javelin's out of ammo. Yeah, LRM-15, I bet you he had like one ton of ammo too. It's just a complete waste, like eight turns of firing and then what do you do? Drop it to a 10 and put a pair of medium lasers in. At least the 10 will have 12 turns of firing. And you got a pair of medium lasers after that to just continue shooting. Either that or put some melee fists on the thing to, so at least they can fight. So he's got a flamer and a rifle. Yeah, if we if we were to leave this battle, this lance would die. Okay, I don't think the um, we'll see that TBM carrier. If it's shooting this turn, then I'm gonna sick it, and if it's not shooting this turn. Then I'm going to forget about it because I don't think it'll be shooting anywhere after that. Now we could shoot or attempt to shoot this guy at 7.3%. That's not bad. On For that range anyway. Report negative damage. Oh yeah, nice hit. And then no missiles, really. I guess he's maybe, he's not too close though. He's not too close. No, he's got TBMs left. He's using HE now. It's okay. Damage is light. Yeah, we gotta sick him. We gotta get on him. We'll get down there with the dead fires and shred him, I think. We'll get the uh Irania and the LRM guy down there. And the two long range guys will come down here. Commander. Oh, we got a shot at him. We might kill him. That's really good chances to hit. We'll take it and fire everything. Okay, good damage. SRMs are gone. It's fine. We'll get the dead fire on him in a second. Hopefully we can finish him up. I don't know how no I have no idea how much damage he's taken to the one side. Orders. Okay, Quakey. Can you oh you can't uh Oh man. Can't use the dead fire on him. Don't move then. Much better chance if we don't move, just firing. Engaging target. Lots of damage, not enough for a kill though. Solid nope, connection. I take it back. Why do I open my mouth? I don't know. Beautiful. Alright, now we can just focus on the guys down here. Fire starters backing up. You better run. So they probably can't see us now because they don't have that TBM carrier close to us. They don't they don't have any sensors on us. Which might be why they're backing up. They've lost two of their lances. Alright. Get into this battle, Swifty. Max speed, no shooting. Let's go after some obvious targets here like this guy. It's a side shot, you better chance to hit. Roger that. Firing on target. Catch you next time. I was you know, I'd consider putting that mirror drum back in, but it, it just burns through ammo way too fast. Twenty-five 
25. Okay. Good thing that vehicle's got some half decent armor. Really? Engaging with target. Might as well take a pot shot. No joy. Yeah, man. Damage him up. We're coming to help you. Coming to help you. Ooh, large laser hit. See ya. Not surviving that at close range. Yeah, this definitely would have been a different battle with the Centurion and uh, Min Shen in here. It's going to be a nice upgrade to the Lance, that's for sure. But I did have to try it out with all the Irbies. It's nice for a, um, it's nice to play around on your own, but I think as a series it's just, it's tough to do because it just takes so long for the battles to finish, you know? And it's, you know, you've, only, you've got a handful of weapons, so it's not like, you know, I don't know, it's not like you can apply a ton of firepower on somebody. Keep that AC armor away. 24. 19. 10. Fire at this guy. Not like you're going to hit anyway. We do have the bolt-on rockets at 12%, but we'll hold on. Ooh, the, I, I take it back. That was a good AC hit. They're so rare now <laughs> that uh, it's enjoyable when they do happen. I don't know where you got them. Probably a leg shot. Got to save the rest of our pirate friends here. I have no idea where we hit them. Save the rest of our pirate friends. Helping us liberate the galaxy from the oppressors. Nice. He's lost his evasion. Ready for orders. Now, are you better to shoot from there or better to move in? Let's just shoot from here. Come on. Oh. All right. Well, that's all right. Yeah, this guy's overheating. Those LRMs must run real hot. This guy's still uh, waffling over here. X-Pulse was better on the Panther, but this guy's got a better chance to die, so... What can I do for you? Just straight up attack this guy. Ah, crap. Couldn't get lucky twice. Ooh, I may need some more time in the simulator. Yeah, like a lot of time. More time than we have in this episode. Or in the series, for that matter. Come on, knock his ass down. If he goes down... Nope. Nope. Three bars. Still standing. When do, we, when do we go with... Oh, we go 14 on the missiles. And 13 with the lasers. So if we can knock his ass down with the missiles... Fingers crossed. At least we have a chance to pick up some TBMs. Can you get a red line? You sure as hell can. Get right up here. Give me that beautiful juicy red line. Hammer this guy. Ah, uh, crap the beagle probe. Oh well. Still standing. 
Our guy's overheating. I think he probably took heat sink damage. We could move in, but I don't think it's going to give us much more than that. Let's just take a shot at him. Oh, the large one hit. And then we blew something up with the, <laughs> with the PPC. He's hoping that by moving there that we're not going to shoot. Little does he know we've taken so much damage from our allies. I don't mind <laughs> conditioning a little back. I don't care if they're our friends or not. All right, what do we got? Scrambles first. I think she's going to need to get in that panther. All right, it's moving in to, a sta to strike, though. Ooh. It's a fair bit of damage. Yeah. That's a fair bit of damage. Might be better to go against the locust here. 22-15. Nope, better at the panther. Yep. Here it comes. If we hit, hopefully. Well, three pulse hits. Not bad. But that's it. Come on, buddy. Melee something. I think their urban mech has got heat issues now. I think it's lost some heat sinks. I can't, I don't, I don't think it can cool itself. Alright, Swifty. Hmm. A little better on this guy. But since we've got a guy behind him, I'm going to go with the bolt-on rockets and maybe hit both. Now, nah. Oh, we got a head hit, though. All out of SRMs, Commander. Well, you got a head hit on him. That's good. It's going to make it tougher for him to fight. Thirty-seven, twenty-five, twenty-two. Looks like it's you, buddy. Here it comes. Engaging with target. Inflicted some heavy damage, Commander. Time to move in. I'm really hesitant to shoot at this point. Got our own guy in the way. Could shoot him straight in the back. Ah, I think he's far enough out of the way. Let's just go with the PPC. Drop some heat. Okay, at least we didn't hit our guy. So for those players, I mean, I mean, you probably skip past most of this stuff. I don't know, but for those players that are new players, or relatively new, and you got really low percentage chance to hit. Um, first of all, make sure you got lots of ammo, um, and weapons that have multiple um, chances to hit opponents, like LRMs and SRMs, can always be good because at least you're applying a little bit of damage here and there, and then eventually you can kill the enemy. Um, but it's also about positioning too, like having the height advantage is a, is a big deal, right? It's a really big deal with your chances to hit. Um, and, you know, and then also too, closing in, like, you can't really notice it here, but if we get really close here, you know, your chances, I am sprinting though, but your chances will go up based on the weapons you have. So this mech's got a lot of mid-range weaponry. So the closer I get, the better off I'm going to be. And if I was up higher and close, that would be even better. But now, like, look at that. 74% chance to hit, right? 63 on the Panther. So we're going to try and kill this guy. Here we go. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. 
He's just going to stick around. So, I mean, it's it's really just understanding, you know, what to do to survive. I hear you. Not moving and shooting also provides a better chance to hit. So this guy's not moving at all. If I was to walk or whatever, unless I was going up a hill, this is still the best chance I'm going to have for this guy. Special delivery. So that urban max kind of really terrible. But it does have 20 rounds of AC, AC5 ammo, so I'm not afraid to use it, even at like 20% chance to hit. Especially if I know this battle won't go 20 rounds. And if it's a 4 on 4, it, it shouldn't. Even with low chances to hit, it shouldn't. Receiving. Just try and make sure your pilots come home alive. That's the biggest thing. Okay, um... So there's our target. Leaving the barrage off. Now I could use a barrage on this guy, but because he's fast, he could run around and like, be in a position to kill our, our allies. You got it. So that's the last thing I want. Like, I didn't mind using it on those elementals, because I, I could see they were really, really slow. So, and we could move away from them so we didn't have to worry about it. Ready for orders. Okay, so that's the Locust. Or the, sorry, the fire starter. Really low chances to hit all of a sudden. We do have dead fire. I don't think it's going to be any better now. Let's go after the fire starter. Copy that. Meh. I think I hit something good. I was hoping to get a lucky shot in the leg or something. Yeah, he's got to watch out. He's overheating really bad. They most likely took out one of his heat sinks or two of his heat sinks. It's bad now because he can't sink any of that heat, right? Right here. Mm -hmm. So now we're in close on this guy. It's a big problem, right? That's why they're targeting me because uh, this mech can kill. This mech can kill, and I'm going to go after the guy I think I can probably take out, so, like that. So I could have gone after the panther. The panther is definitely more dangerous at this point, because he's got that rifle. I don't know if he's got any ammo left for it, but he does have the rifle. Um, but I went against the locust, because the locust... What is going on with our... Is it ECM issues? Medium range, target move, firing blind, plus 13. Can't really see him. Let's close the gap a little bit. Don't really have visual on him. But yeah, if you can take a target out like that, do it. Pull the guns off the field. I know the Panther was a threat. But I would have only done damage, we wouldn't have been able to kill him. But now the Locust is gone, we've got more freedom to move around. Commander. Okay, let's get into here. Those are good chances to hit. Switching over to dead fire, it's our last, last opportunity to use dead fire, but we're going to fire. it for the dead fire. No, you're not. Stop complaining. We're going to have to rely on the... Uh, oof, don't die. We're going to have to rely on the um, Irania to finish this up, I think. This guy's so hot. Ready for orders. Location confirmed. Those are two nice chances to hit. Gonna fire them. 
we hit our own guy. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> My bad. Oh, maybe we didn't. Yeah, he's still firing that rifle. If it's a medium rifle, it's going to do 45, but if it's a heavy, it does 60, so... It just says ballistic. Most likely it's a medium rifle. I think medium rifle is 5 tons. The heavy rifle, I think, is 8 tons. 8? I think it's 8 tons. Knock his ass down. No? I hear you. Okay, we got better visual confirmation on these guys now. It's a no tough, sweat. this mech is tough because the, a, the AC is kind of a medium range weapon and the uh, laser is a close range. Right, Commander. Nice shots. Also, too, side shots and back shots gives you better chance to hit, so use them when you can. This guy could be cored. That guy could be killed, but we're going to go after this guy. Not good enough. Good to go. Okay, Quakey. Almost out of ammo, but we're using it on this guy. Couple CT hits. Three CT hits. Hit our ally. Scored a critical hit. Waiting for order. All right, focus. Don't move. Not the best on this guy. Even worse on this guy. Let's just take a shot at this guy. The shot. Nope. Nope. Both of those are longer ranged weapons, so I don't mind standing back and using them. Ooh, ooh, didn't get the kill. Good damage, though. Ooh, good thing he missed. Standing by the corpse of the spider. What are you doing? Yes, okay, good. That guy's gone. Then there was one. Don't move into range. You're just gonna end up getting hit. Okay, got a laser shot on him. He's panicking. Probably panicking because he's the only guy left. Get a side shot on this guy again. Probably gonna hit the javelin, but whatever. And firing. Nope. Man. CT hit. Nice shot. That there's a kill. Sure is. Mission successful. All right. That's the uh, end of that long mission and end of the last Urban Mac Lance missions. Uh, we're just gonna pull these guys out of combat. I'm gonna repair what we have. Then pull them out. Um, so it's going to be this guy and this guy that come out of the battle. We'll leave the missile mech for now. All right, what do we got here? AMS, BA, Battle Armor Tag Barrage. These are the mortars. We, unless we have Battle Armor, we can't use them, unfortunately. Oh, you did have a heavy rifle. That would have been bad if you hit. Uh, mine Dispenser 20s. One shot. Two mines. Two mines per projectile. Six minefield radius. 44% mine trigger chance. That's actually not that bad. Okay, Thunderbolt 5s. I'm going to take three of them. And I'm going to take the fuel cell for the sea bills. Unless there's something else that's amazing down here. Uh, another warfare suite. Wow. Drop that in. Oh, LRM dead fire. 
don't have any of those. We've got plenty of TBMs now. We've got what four HE and we got five. Yeah. So do we take the dead fire ammo instead of the fuel cell? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the bones. We'll 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 keep what we have. Hopefully we get something good, but I think this is probably the way to go. Okay, locust part, heavy rifle, which we don't need. So let's get rid of that. We don't need the LRM tens. The mine dispenser, not bad. We'll hang on to that. I don't know if we'll use it. These two cores can go. This core can go. Fuel cell can go. Indirect can go because we've already got one. Plus we got a double plus. These nine can go. And these fusion cores can go. The jump jets can go. Heavy rifle ammo can go. SRM ammo can go. So we, we made 800,000 off that. That's beautiful. Okay, 15,000. That's really nothing. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to get these mechs repaired. Sorry that took so long, but uh, actually 2.9. So we did we made almost a million off that off that mission, which is beautiful. So now we've got some money to work with. We've got a whole month to go now. We got 30 days to go. So we've got plenty of time to switch these lances around. Now, I'll have a look at the uh command center and find out what um, missions are still here. We do have like three more pirate missions, which I think we'll stay for. Um and we should be able to run the light lance against the one and a half skull mission once we get um, the Mian Shen and the um, Centurion in that lance. So I'll work. I'm going to work towards that. So when we come back next time, um, you know, I know I said I wasn't going to do anything to, um, nice to see you down here in the. the um, uh, my god the mortis until i hear back from everybody but i'm going to get a rough loadout for it and it, it can certainly change i'll get something you know for the for the um uh, episode after this one and then we'll look at changing it after that once i've read everybody's comments um so at least we'll have two half decent lances that can finish the missions off on this planet um before the end of the month and then we'll jump and go somewhere else all right but until then, I am going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.